Today, I want to share a story of a Muslim woman named Roya. Why did I choose her story? Because she so clearly articulates how oppressed she was as a Muslim woman. She says, I started memorizing Quran at the age of nine, but by the age of 14, I hated Islam. Why? Because Islam taught me that when I suffer, Allah is pleased. If I fast, He likes it. And when I wear a covering during the hot summer days, He enjoys it. I thought, the more I suffer, the closer I get to God. That's Islamic theology. The way women were treated in Islam bothered me. My Islam teacher told me, if a man sees your strand of your hair, then when you die, Allah will hang you from that hair. And if a man is tempted by you, you are the sinner and you shall be punished. He said, she says, for him, women are just merchandise in the hands of men. She said, things got worse when I got married. My husband physically abused me. He would come late at night. He was drunk. And the Quran allowed him to beat me. You know, the Quran, there is a verse I want to share with that with you. There is a verse in Quran, chapter 4, verse 34, that says, and those women you fear may be rebellious, admonish, banish them to their couches and beat them. It's a command. So she was beaten by her husband. And she says, I suffered for nine years under that husband. But one day, this but is great because that's when God enters the story. He says, but one day I saw my husband crying. I was shocked because I had never seen him cry. Not even once. He told me that he had been watching your satellite programs and that his heart was deeply touched. And that was why he was crying. Soon my husband started reading the Bible and changing. He paid attention to me and he showed me kindness and a supernatural love. Then she says, I got interested. Of course, she said, I started reading the Bible for myself. I learned that the God of the Bible sees men and women are equal, equally important. He is the father to both. I saw that when a man and woman marry, they become one. Not like Islam, when after marriage, the woman becomes a man's possession. There's so much more that she writes compared what the role and the value of a, a woman is in Islam and Christianity. After seeing a change in her husband and after she read the Bible and compared the value of a woman in the Bible and Quran, she says, I came to Christ and my life was changed. She said, before I hated God, I hated my husband and I hated all men. But after I came to Christ, the Lord healed my heart. Now I love God. I'm not fearful of God. I love God because he first loved me. And she says, now I love my husband. And now I do not have hatred towards any man. This is, this is what Jesus came to do. Don't you think so? You know, Jesus says, I've come to set free the oppressed. And you know what? In Islam, the most oppressed segment of the society are women. So Jesus has a special grace for the women in Islam. When they come to Christ, the women in Islam, they become so free. They value what Jesus has done for them. You know, when you come from darkness to light, you value the light even more. The women in Iran, they are changing the society. They are at the forefront of transforming the society. Because when they come to Christ, they know what they gain. They know who they were, nobody an instrument, a merchandise, and who they are now, a child of God. They start sharing the gospel with their friends and family. They become agents of transformation for their own family, then friends, and then others. You know, when we partner together and we take the gospel to these homes, all these women, they are, they, they are not allowed to leave the house, many of them. They are just bound. They are prisoners in their homes. And you and I, together, we go in their homes and we tell them who Jesus is, who God is, and how valuable they are in the eyes of God. And once they hear that gospel, they receive that. And once they receive that, they are changed. They're set free. 
I believe, I believe the key to transformation of Iran is number one, are women. Let's join together to set the women in Iran free by the power of the gospel. Would you join us in prayer? Would you join us in supporting this ministry so we can continue to help people like Roya be healed, be freed, and become agents of transformation? God bless you.